Hey you guys, it's Denise at My Luxury First, and today I'm just showing you my gateway computer. It had went out, the screen had went out. I came back to get some work done, and my screen was all black. So to fix the problem, me and my husband were just testing out a couple things. We opened up the back of the computer and removed the fan and um, took the the, um, the sensors off okay. the heat sensors which is right here this is the heat sensors right here there's uh, four screws right there that you have to remove plus mm -hmm. one right here and um, all you have to do is just unplug the air vent you know, which is the fan which is this one right here you just unplug that one keep the fan right there but I went ahead on and just removed the whole case right here you don't have to do that and yeah, after that, then you go ahead on, you put the power plug, which is this one right here. You put it back inside of here. After, and you put it back inside of here. You turn it on right here. You wait about 10, 15 minutes. Yeah, it's going to overheat a little bit. That's what it's supposed to do with a good computer. You probably won't even feel it overheating. So that's turn on, turn off. Just let it keep doing that for like 10, 15 minutes. After that, then you take the power plug off. Hold this the power the um, power button for uh, 15 seconds. After 15 seconds goes through, then you hook up the power button. Put the power button right back on. Hold this for another um, 10 seconds. After that, and then your screen should pop right on. And once it pops on, you know you're good. Yeah, because the screen wasn't popping on at all at first, but now it's on. So we're hoping that once we put everything back on, now it's on time here, to put everything back. And it back up then we'll be back in action so we just turned the power off we unplugged and now we're putting the casing back on The inside screws I put inside that top right there, so it'll be easier to find. That's fine. I put some of the screws in that's here. The, that's the outside screws for the actual frame. So now we're putting the back on. There's still one screw right here. <laughs> no, uh, I know where that one goes. Okay, so this is us turning it on to see if it's going to be working now. Mouse is working. It's working. Okay. Voila. So it looks like we're back in action. Thank the Lord, because I thought that I was going to have to Let's buy another this. computer. That's perfect. Right. So we're checking to make sure that everything is working well. And the initial problem was the screen good. was all black and or blank. It was black, it was blank wasn't able to log on or do anything. Every time I pressed the on button or just tried to do anything, nothing worked. So what we had to do was open up the back of this uh, computer because you know, like the monitor and the computer are the same. So we had to open that up as I showed you earlier. Oh, I have to open it up. I went head on, I um, disconnected the fan. I took the the uh, air sensors off mm -hmm. and once I um, took that off I went on and plugged up the power cord turned the computer on mm -hmm. for like 10 15 minutes mm -hmm. I understand that it makes the computer hot but mm -hmm. that's a good thing and after that I unplugged the power cord 
press the power button for about about uh, 15 to 20 seconds, mm -hmm. even though there's no power, but still press it for that time. Okay. After that, we head on, put the power um, plug back inside of there, turned it on. Voila. Bada boom, bada bang. <laughs> All right. So that's something that you guys can try if your screen goes blank with the It's gateway. the model ZX4970G. There wasn't a lot of information online when I tried to look it up, so I had to do what I, well, we had to do what we had to do in order to try to make this work so that way we wouldn't have to go out and buy another one. So if this video helped you, thank you for watching. Please thumbs up and subscribe.